Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, a quick tutorial. Well, I don't know how quick it's going to be. I'll try and be quick. Uh, on the um, on two topics. Uh, the first one's going to be for an 03 Grand Marquis uh, uh, blend door actuator. And the second part is going to be on uh, vacuum leaks. Um, I was having a problem with the uh, uh, the EATC had uh, defaulted to the uh, defrost and the floor only. Um, and it was uh, e either blowing really hot or cold through the vents. Um, in my case, it was uh, co ice cold through, th through the defrost and the floor. Uh, so. Um, I took it to a place uh, they wanted close to a thousand dollars. They said they had to take the whole dashboard apart. Um, I didn't uh, feel like spending a grand, so I did some research. I found a guy on YouTube um, where he went in through the um, uh, air airbag. So uh, there's going to be some pieces you have to take off. You've got a, a long piece of uh, trim here. It just you just grab it on the corner and then just just pry it out be gentle with it uh, it will just pop right out when you get that out uh, you're gonna want to take the glove box out um, there's two screws one down here and one over here and it comes right out uh, then uh, you're gonna take the airbag out you've got two screws on the airbag uh, that'll come out. There's a little clip back there. Uh, that'll come right out. Pull the airbag out. And you've got one screw here for the small vent. That comes right out. This screw comes out real easy. Um, uh, and behind there, uh, there's a piece of duct work. Now, uh, there's two screws holding the duct on. Uh, there's one down here and there's one up top. This one here comes off real easy. No, no problem with the access. This one up top, not so much. Uh, so uh, if you've got a cutting tool or something, just cut it off at the top or break it out. I broke it out. Uh, I just, uh, I wanted it out. Then pull the duct work out. Then you're gonna have access to the blend door actuator, okay? Uh, now there's a little trick to this. Uh, there's um, three bolts. There's one right here. Then there's one. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Let's see if I can get it in there. Right there. There's another one right there. And then all the way in the corner, underneath here, there's another one and you're, you're not going to be able to get to that okay and then way back in the far right corner or yeah far right corner uh there's going to be an alignment pin so what you do is you go on ahead and unplug it uh take this screw out it's a 5 16th uh, take that screw out and then you're going to take your screwdriver and you're gonna pry it underneath the actuator and you're gonna bend up as far as you can and then push down, push down with a uh, pretty good amount of force and the, uh, the actuator is just gonna bust right out. Uh, so now with the, uh, you're gonna be left with uh, the two screws left uh, in there with the uh, two plastic tabs uh, that came off the unit that you just broke out. So what you do is you loosen those two bolts up with the small 5 16 wrench. You'll be able to get to it once this is out. Uh, just loosen them up, pull the, um, uh, pull the little plastic tabs out and and uh, loosen the screws up just a, just a couple two or three turns um, because what you're going to do on the new actuator uh, you're gonna not on this one 
but on on this one back here and the one back over here you're just going to cut the front front little piece of this uh, tab off so that you can slide the actuator uh, between the screw all right so what you do is when you get those things clipped off you slide this in get it in the alignment pin in the back and then slide this one in and then you'll be able to slide this one in and then just tighten put this screw back in and you're done okay uh, and this little tab down the, the little uh, elbow uh, this this is a little metal arm uh, for the blend door uh, it moves freely so don't try and move this up here just move the actuator so it fits in underneath this is hollow underneath here it's just going to slide right in um, and that's all there is to it uh, it's going to take you about an hour and a half uh, it's really easy uh, i don't know why they they got to take the dashboard apart uh, except just to make money and rip us off okay now so that's that's done now uh the second problem i had uh Oh, even when I got that done, uh, I rebuilt the EATC. I put new O-rings in there and everything. Uh, put the unit back in, uh, and I had no, no, uh, still no control. So I took this piece off. If you look here, they've got all your little hoses. Uh, this one here. Uh, where is it? Where am I going? This one right here is empty. There's nothing goes here. Okay, so uh, this one here goes to the uh, the panel vents. Okay, now what you do is you take this off and you get yourself a little uh, hand vacuum pump from Harbor Freight. They're 15 bucks. Get one of these little tips. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in. You can do this while the car is running. Okay, because you're going to stick this in from the back side, you're going to stick it in and you're going to pump it up. And you want to check and make sure that, that each uh, actuator inside there, see there's actuators in there, you want to make sure that they're functioning. So, um, so I did all that and uh, so and I found that they was all functioning, but I had no vacuum. And this black line, it, this black line here is the vacuum supply line. This goes uh, out through, through the, underneath there. There, I don't know if you can see it up there. Eh, probably not. But anyway, there's a, a little grommet underneath there. I'm going to show you in a minute from the other side. Uh, so, uh, the, the, the leak is it should be relatively easy to find okay uh, I put uh, the vacuum pump to this actuator and there was no there was no uh, no it would not hold any pressure so um, what I now I'm going to take you out to the side here out front <laughs> Okay, there's your check valve right there. That's your check valve. Uh, there's going to be a little line that goes around, and I don't know if you can quite see it, but there it goes. You're going to see a small thin line, and if you can bear with me for one second, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay. So, you're going to see this. This is an empty tube, the white one. It looks like a, an empty feed tube. But, um, this end here, it's plugged off. But then I believe it's hollow underneath. So, I went, I went up to the auto parts store. Got me a bunch of hose. Um, I got me a bunch of hose and some T's 
uh, and some adapters and I and I hook this up straight from here to the main line the main supply line the black line uh, to the back of the EATC um, and I had vacuum okay uh, what you want to do is to check this you can take this line off here okay take it off put your air air pump on there and you should have pressure about 20 20 pounds maybe uh, and with the car running uh, then if, if as long as you have pressure there that's working so and on the O3 Mercury's you've, you've got a little canister here vacuum canister and you want to pull this off and there should be vacuum on there you want to check that and then you want to hook up your vacuum pump to this and build up the pressure because sometimes these crack there could be a leak there if you are getting pressure on here if it's holding pressure it's good hook the line up okay now and then what you do is you're gonna go underneath I don't think you can see that uh, I can't even see it but anyway you get the gist uh, now I went on ahead and I, I hooked I hooked this line up uh, straight from the check valve straight from the check valve uh, to the back of the EATC unit um, and once I did that I had vacuum all right uh, so uh, and this was broke this was broke right inside of the uh, the uh, that little grommet there I'm gonna show this to you uh, Okay. Looked like that was looked like something gnawed at it, or it was chafing. I don't know, but anyway, that sure looked like something was gnawing at it. But it was right there at the grommet. That's where my leak was, and I did a crude smoke test, and I, I, I couldn't see any smoke. But there she blows. That was it. Saved me a pile of money. Just doing a little bit of uh, trace work myself. So, uh, 15 bucks and about 20 bucks in part from the old store. Some hoes and tees. And I ended up getting, uh, well, let's I'll show you what I used. Uh, I ended up getting uh, this fuel line. Uh, that was a pretty good, pretty good fit. Uh, but what I ended up doing I just got me some tees I used the black hose that was just out there on the check valve and a couple tees hooked it up hooked it up in there like that I just cut the black line clip clip and then I had vacuum so um, and that that solved my problems uh, it's been uh, it's been a while since I've had AC coming through the vents and uh, I'm trying to sell the car, but <laughs> I've been getting some resistance with the air conditioning. So I just decided to take it off the market and fix it myself. So, uh, and then you just uh, go on ahead, slide this, slide this back in here. You got four bolts, one, two, three, four, four bolts holding that on. Uh, and you put your, uh, uh, you put your airbag in, you put your vent in, then your airbag, then your uh, glove box, and you're good to go. So, uh, I hope this helps you out. I, I didn't find anything on YouTube about vacuum leaks for uh, Mercury Marquis for the EATC. So, uh, hopefully this is going to help you out. Um, uh, the vacuum vacuum leaks can be hard to find if they're in a, in a hard spot where you can't if you do a smoke test and you can't see any smoke 
So anyway, thanks a lot. And if you liked the video, like, subscribe. I'm open to all comments, good or bad. So have yourself a blessed day. Stay cool.